Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's Gaslit Nation early show, where we're going to be running our full interview with Gustav Gressel, a senior policy fellow with the wider Europe program at the European Council on Foreign Relations for the Berlin office. This interview is significant because he's going to give you the entire background of why Europe, namely Germany, a longtime leader of Europe, did not do more to contain Putin earlier. And it goes from the reasons range from obviously blood money and ideology, um, Nazis sympathy for Putin's fascism, all of it. So you'll hear that discussion and you'll also hear about uh, the current Chancellor Schulz, what he's up against in terms of the domestic policies in Germany. All of that's significant because what has taken place in the last few days has been a massive sea change in Germany's policy towards Russia. 180, complete flip, thanks to Putin's war. Germany is now increasing its NATO spending. Germany is going to build a strong defense for its country and therefore Europe. Germany is going to wean itself off of Russian gas. It is moving aggressively to find alternatives to Russian gas. This includes LNG, which is a gas, I don't, I'm not a gas expert, but includes LNG. The gas experts know what I'm talking about out there. And Germany has a big moonshot where they want to go 100% renewables by 2035. And they are finally, finally giving defensive aid to Ukraine and allowing other countries to give their stockpile or take from their stockpile of German-made defensive aid and give that to Ukraine. That's a big change because Germany before was blocking other European countries from giving Ukraine German-made defensive aid. You might think that Germany is pacifist, that they're, they've, they've been through war, they caused two world wars, right? That was where their stance was coming from. That's not true. Germany has been supplying weapons to various hotspots around the world, but stopping short when it came to Ukraine. That is because of an appeasement-like policy towards Russia. 